Hey guys, welcome to Brick Me Up Scotty, and I am Scotty. And if you're new here, so am I. We're here today to see the first set, the latest one I just finished. So this is kind of new to me. I hope I can share this with you and you guys can get some inspiration to be doing modular stuff. And in case you don't know, go check out the beginning introduction video about why I'm here. Okay, so what we're seeing here is a toy factory. Hold up guys, I don't know why I keep saying toy factory, but actually I meant toy shop. Do, 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 from a company called, it's not Leppin, it's Zingbo, that's X-I-N-G-B-O-A. But I have this gut feeling that they're all kind of like the same umbrella. If you hate that company, if you hate the brand, if you don't want to support them because they knock off Lego, don't watch this video. If you just want to see what I've done, keep watching because actually some of them are really good and some of them are kind of crazy. As you can see from this, I thought it was a hot mess when I saw it in the photos. First of all, it's pretty sturdy. It's not perfect the way it connects together. There's a little gaps here and there, so you have to kind of push down on it. Um, one thing I want to tell you guys is that barely any missing parts. I think there was a couple of pieces that were wrong colors. If I was missing a piece, it would only be like one or two color differences, or I would just find some from my other sets and just combine it onto here. But I think there's like one or two colors. You probably can't even see it from the camera. Let's start with the bottom floor, because I'm actually pretty impressed with this. Um, I love how they did the bottom one, so we're going to take this off right now. Okay, check it out. It's a toy shop and it's got so much detail inside. One thing I really love is this little, can you see this little airplane thing? I thought that was genius. I haven't seen that done before. The plane, the plane. Seven pieces, eight pieces, including the stick, it makes up this little plane. It's like, it actually makes the whole shop kind of shine. The little, little shelf, you have a little mini fix here, the owl, monkey, scorpion, cat, gun, not quite sure what this is supposed to be. Here's the second shell. Chicken, frogs, seashells. We've seen those figures before. A little choo-choo train. There's a hot dog, sausage, a little clip and a cone piece and it makes up a light. It's supposed to be like a lamp. What's funny is that there's one thing right here, another little shop. It actually looks like a shop, like an official one. They got even the walls, I'm sure we can see that there. It's pretty dope. I love how they use the bricks and they make the words out of them. And you know, this one says books, it's going up to the bookstore. Oh, one thing fell down, the flower. You got your fire hydrant here, right there. Trash can, bench, a little bit of dog hair on there, my dog. And then the window display, you got the curved window here. Some more little items in there. I think there's a little house. And then again, inside, on this side, here, the little cashier. And the other signs here, uh, this one was supposed to go down slightly lower. This is a good example to show you guys that one of the pieces is actually quite loose, so it'll just like drop off. So I've decided to just mount it up a little bit on the next brick and it fits perfectly fine. We know what that's copying, but um, pretty good. I like it. I mean, it's not perfect, but you get the idea what they're trying to do. Toy shop. Then, we go to the second floor. Just gotta pull this up. Let's see if anything falls off when I do this. Drum roll, which is outside. This is the second floor here. Bookshop library. Let's flip it upside down. Oh, that fell out, fell off. Staircase, we can see it here. You kind of have to build them separately. You, I mean, you're gonna build the set separately, but it's all gonna be, kind of feel like it's falling apart. I kind of don't like how they just you know, the Lego ones kind of snap together at the end of the staircase. This one doesn't. It's just for show, basically. But, you know, once, once all the pieces are in, it's actually pretty solid and pretty tight. So I'm gonna put that back in. These are the signs on the side of the shop. I'm not a big fan of these. They kind of look like, I thought they were smiley faces when I first took them out, like, they're like smiling, but they're actually like little weird creatures. One boy, one girl, I don't know. Didn't like the tables here. The tables aren't really set together. And one of the pieces, was actually kind of closed off. I had to use something to sharpen it and just like scrape it and be able to put it into the pegs. But I don't like that where it's just kind of not being supported. The little fan here, it's like the airplane that you saw earlier. Now the crazy thing is this thing in the, in the, in the window display. I have no idea what the hell this thing is supposed to be. It's very Saint Seiya, if you know Japanese anime, it looks like one of those things. I don't know who would want to put this in a bookshop or library. It looks like it belongs in a museum. You know, it's got the little little sword here and blades there, but 
Looks like it can kill you. Now I found out my window's slightly bent here. I, I couldn't get it perfectly fitted on. So I think that's, you know, that's one of the things where you get what you pay for, blah, 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 blah. But it's okay, I can, I can live with that. What else we got here? We got the stapler and cup and you got two chairs. There we go. Picture frames. The curtains a little bit, not my style. The Parisian restaurant is a perfect example of a really well done, really well designed curtain. This one is kind of like whatever. That's the second floor. And now I'm gonna show you the third floor. You wanna guess what the third floor is? Because I'll tell you right now, it gets repetitive. That's right, it's a, another bookstore. This one looks more like a library. Five bookshelves and a small one there. And not much other detail in there. You can see the thing about this floor that I don't like is the support of the bookshelf. You make it from bottom up, but I don't like how they did the, the tip here on the top left side of each bookshelf. There's not much support. It will fall apart on you if I pull it out. They so have a little flower garden there. Uh, the windows are actually pretty good. It is a little bit loose here. Lego modular city sets are freaking secure. Like everything's like, it's been thought out and planned out. These guys, a lot of their sets, it, it looks like uh, it doesn't fit. We'll just try to make it fit. And everything's gonna fall apart on you first when you're putting it together until the final tile goes on, then it's like super, super secure. So if I was like to take out one piece, the whole thing would probably like shatter. Well, I'm exaggerating, but you know, there was some frustration in the other sets, which I'll tell you about in some other episodes. I like this. I actually really like the rooftop. I, I think like 90% of the sets here, they hardly take advantage of the rooftop. It's either really flat or there's nothing going on, or they have like one or two items on there. I love how the fact is like, it's kind of like a cafe. The umbrella is a little bit colorful, but I love the upstairs here. Again, it's a little bit loose here, but I love the design, the window shades, like you're coming up. A couple of benches here, but no pool. Some wine bottles that are just, some wine glasses that are just hanging there. There is a slight arch on the back here, and I don't think it's supposed to arch. It's supposed to be straight. So the piece is probably just a little bit too long. This is hilarious. For the tabletop, they actually use frogs. Four frogs is the leg of a table. And then the front is the clock. It's pretty cool. Let's take a look at the mini figure. I don't like the facial expressions too much. The smile, the eye, they seem a little bit too animated. But they got a Harley Quinn looking woman there. There you go. Those are the mini figs. I'm talking for like 30 minutes. Man, this is gonna be a long video. I try not to make it too long, but anyway. Woo! Please subscribe, like, and comment. I hope that this was enjoyable for you. Um, if you want to see more details about it, let me know. I'll try to do better next time. If you have any questions or what other sets you'd like to see, let me know. I'll try my best to do the ones that everyone wants to see. And for now, I'm just focusing on the modular city and we'll, I'll be going through Lego. I'm a little bit late to the party. So for me to see this, my point of view, 2017, I hope it's fresh for you guys. And we'll go take a look at some Legos and some other brands. So thank you. See you guys next time. Scotty, I'm beaming out. Boot.